What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through how I created this invisible effect. Shout out to Max for the inspiration on this one. He's created a really advanced tutorial on his channel and I'm gonna go through a more basic way to do it which will be really good if you're self-filming or if you just wanted to add some easy special effects to spice up your videos. So here's my raw video clip that I'm going to use for this. Shot on a tripod and then once the subject has left the frame, I let the camera run for an extra 20 seconds so that I had a clear frame for this, which is super important and it's gonna make this effect really easy to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy and paste this video clip, Command C and Command V. And then I'm just going to disable the bottom layer by pressing V. And then on this top layer, I'm going to go to my effects. I'm gonna to go to the mask and keying effect. And I'm gonna add this scene removal mask, which is a new effect that Final Cut Pro has added. So if you don't have it, then just try updating Final Cut Pro and you should have it. This will remove the background as long as you have a clean frame at the end of your video clip. So I'm gonna go up to the reference and just select the last frame because that is the frame that we have the clean frame on without the subject. And then I'm going to right click and go to new compound clip and just select OK. And then I'm going to bring in my clean frame, which I recorded after. And on this bottom video clip, I'm going to go to my effects and I'm going to use the bump map effect, which I've used before. And that comes in the effects expansion pack. This effects expansion pack doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to it down in the description. It comes with a load of different effects, which are super useful for advanced effects like this. For this video, I'll do a special discount code, which will get you 50% off the pack. And the code is invisible. So I'll leave the link to it down below if you want to go and get it. So I'm going to use this bump map effect and I'm going to drag that onto my bottom video clip. And then in the drop zone, I'm going to click the drop zone here and then just select the top layer and go to apply clip. And then if we change the amount and drag the number right up to 10 and also change the direction, you'll see we start to, we get this invisible effect of the original layer. And I'm going to click repeat edges just so that we don't get any black areas. It's going to be different for every video clip. So now I'm going to add the glitch effect so that we can transition between the invisible shot and the normal shot. So to do that, what I'm going to do is go to the point where I want to add the glitch effect and switch back to the normal video clip and then just trim, trim the top video clip and then re-enable it. So now we have the switch between the real and invisible clip. And then I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to skip forward one frame and cut it skip forward another frame, cut it, and then skip two frames and cut the video. And then just delete this portion and the beginning portion. And then I need to add some sort of glitch effect. So if I go over to my effects tab and for this one, I'm just going to use the hologram effect. And then I'm also going to go to the color board. And for this first clip, I'm going to put the exposure right up. So we get like that flash effect and just play with the settings until I have a nice glow nice glow around it. We can add some static as well. So now we have this flash and I'm just going to copy the settings and paste them onto this next part. So Command C and then Alt Command V, which will paste the effect settings over. And then I'm just going to adjust the settings so we have a slightly different glitch effect. So now we have the glitch effect added. So now we have this like glitch effect added. I'm going to delete the rest of this original video clip. And then this, this copy of the video clip that we added before, I'm going to press V to enable it. And then, and then just split the clip and delete the first section. So now we have, so now we have it cutting back to the original video clip, but there is a bit of a skip in the background. So to get around that, I'm going to extend this and just press Command T and add a cross dissolve transition so that the transition between the background is just a little bit smoother. And then what I'm also going to do is bring in an adjustment layer and the adjustment layer doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but it's a, but it's a free plugin that you can download and it allows you to add effects to all of the video clips together. So I'm going to bring an adjustment layer over the top of the glitch part. And then I'm going to add like a shake effect to this just to emphasize the transition. So I'm gonna to go to my effects tab and then I'm gonna to go to the shake effects and I'm gonna to, going to use the rumble effect on this. So now we have that added shake effect, which just emphasizes the transition. 
And yeah, that's pretty much the effect. I did also add some slight movement to the shot with a zoom out or a zoom in, and then also a handheld effect. I'll quickly go through that. I added a smooth camera zoom and I just added a zoom in and zoom out. And what this will do is give a really nice smooth zoom into the shot. And you can also use this target to choose where the zoom goes into. And then for the handheld shot, I just added another adjustment layer over the top and went over to my effects tab, went to the shake effects and I just added the handheld effect onto this. So now we have a bit of handheld movement and a zoom and it just makes the shot a bit more exciting to watch. And yeah, that's pretty much the effect done. I'll leave all the links to the plugins and effects I use down in the description if you want to go check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.